Hey, Chuck here. Today, I'm doing a review on my bike, the Royal Enfield 2021 Meteor 350. I wanted to ride this bike for a while before I did a good review on it, so I've had it for a few months and I've put 2,600 miles on it. Now, I've ridden bigger bikes over the last 30 years of my life, but I intentionally wanted to buy a smaller bike that was really comfortable for doing what I do, back road biking, day trips, moto camping, and exploring the back roads of this beautiful high desert where I live in Arizona. So I'm gonna tell you what I honestly think about this bike. I had originally ordered a blue one, but it was taking too long to arrive from India. So I ended up buying the black one that was on the showroom floor. And I'm really glad that I did. The model I have here is Stellar Black. It's a muted black paint job, so not as shiny as some of the other ones. And I've really fallen in love with it. When you have a monochromatic vehicle, like all black, it takes your attention away from the different spots of color that some of the other bikes have and causes you to look at the entire motorcycle as one cohesive shape. And I think this bike has a really beautiful shape. So let's walk around this bike and take a look at the physical features, starting with the front. The headlamp is halogen. Now lots of bikes are switching over to LED lights, and I guess that's the direction things are ultimately going. But this halogen headlamp, especially the high beam, is amazing at night. This thing really floods the road in front of me with so much light, I can see everything. I'm really happy with it. I live in a national forest, so I have lots of wildlife here. Deer, coyotes, javelina, foxes, bobcats, even a couple of bears have come into town. So when I'm riding at night, I really depend on a good headlamp to let me see what's happening in front of me. This thing really does a great job. Now this model of Meteor, the Stellar Black, does not come with a windshield. So I bought one aftermarket and I installed it myself. I do a separate review on that and how to install it as well. This is an actual Royal Enfield windscreen that I bought, as you can see by the logo. I love how a bike looks without a windshield, but I like to reduce the amount of wind fatigue I get when I'm riding at higher speeds. And it's not a really big windscreen, just enough to keep the wind off my chest and the bugs off of me. Now the levers on both sides, the clutch, the brake, are in a position that I find really comfy for my hands. The clutch is a little bit of a stiff pull, but it's not enough to wear me out, so I have no complaints about the levers. The switches on both sides are all really nice. Big solid clicks when you move them. That way I'm not wondering whether or not I turned off my turn signal, I can feel it through my gloves. So great control switches on both sides. The instrument cluster, everything's really easy to see. I do find that when I take some more aggressive turns on twisty roads, that the gas gauge gets a little confused and tells me that I'm low on fuel. So I've learned that I need to give it a couple of miles of riding upright until it settles down. But that probably happens on a lot of different bikes. The gear indicator does give me some false readings between first, neutral, and second. But again, that's common on other bikes. So I've learned to just check to see what gear I'm in manually. I think it's a good idea to know how to do this manually and do it all the time anyway. I think gear indicators on gauges are more of a convenience. The Royal Enfield GPS navigation system is called the Tripper. Now I do a completely separate review of this in a different video, so I'm not gonna say too much about it. It does work. But I will say that before I bought this bike, I was looking online, I saw a lot of comments of people saying that the Tripper does not work in the United States. It only works in other countries. And that's simply not true. It does work in the United States just fine. So if you'd like to see the review on this, check out my other video. The locking gas cap is pretty standard. It has a nice look to it. I would have liked to see it made of metal instead of plastic, but it's working for me just fine. Here in the United States, the Meteor comes with a sharp looking tank badge with the logo on it. I see that in different parts of the world, the Meteor comes with a decal instead of a tank badge like this one. And I think the tank badge looks really cool. It does get in the way of some of the tank bags that I was trying to buy for this bike, but I finally found one that fits just fine. And again, I get into that bag in another video. The seat is super comfy. It's designed like a cruiser, nice and wide. Between the seat and the position of the foot pegs, this bike sits you up tall with a healthy back position. Now, I'm a yoga instructor, so I like a nice straight spine when riding a motorcycle. And I can ride for about 90 minutes or so before I want to get up and move around. I guess everyone's different, but this is a 350, not a 1500 highway cruiser. And I plan to get off my bike and explore stuff as I ride. It's how I ride, that's why I bought this bike. So the seat gets a thumbs up. This bike comes with what they call the low rider seat. And I'm curious about the touring seat that they offer. If anyone watching this video has the touring seat on their Meteor 350, please let me know what you think. I'm probably gonna end up getting one and trying it out. 
The foot pegs on this bike are set substantially forward of the seat, more like a cruiser than a standard bike. I love that. It's one of the things I was looking for when I was bike shopping. If you're new to shopping for a motorcycle, if you're buying your first bike, I suggest you pay attention to where the foot pegs are in relation to the seat. Different styles have different foot peg positions. Off-road bikes will have pegs directly under the seat because you do a lot of standing when you're on an off-road bike. Sport bikes, super sport bikes, racing bikes, these bikes will have the pegs set back as well to get you into that racing position of leaning forward. So if you're in the showroom and you're sitting on bikes seeing how they feel, pay attention to where the foot pegs are. Now the Meteor has a heel toe shifter on the left side, which I had never used before. You don't normally see these on smaller bikes. I was told that the Meteor series was made with a heel toe shifter because a lot of people in India ride wearing sandals. And it's easier to do the shifting in sandals if you have a heel toe shifter. And I was recently approached by an Indian couple in a parking lot who were talking to me about my Royal Enfield. And they totally confirmed this. Everybody over there apparently wears sandals when they ride. If you like, you can still use this shifter by putting your toe under and popping it up. But I love the heel toe shifter. It didn't take me very long to get used to it. And now I really love it. The kickstand has an engine cutoff safety feature. So if you put the kickstand down while the bike is in gear, it shuts off the engine. And I like this. Uh, putting the kickstand down is how I shut off the bike every time I stop. I don't really use the engine cutoff switch. And the Meteor has a built-in center stand, which I think is pretty awesome. It's nice for cleaning my bike, lubing the chain, changing the oil, a really thoughtful standard feature that comes in super handy. Now the Stellar model comes with a back seat and rear foot pegs. I never give anybody a ride. I don't like having people on the back of my bike. My philosophy is, if you want to ride on a motorcycle, go get your own damn bike. To me, a motorcycle is a personal vehicle. My wife has her own bike and we ride together. And guess what? She doesn't even have a seat on the back of her bike. I use my back seat strictly for tail bags and gear. If you'd like to see the tail bag that I use that fits the Meteor perfectly, I have a review on that. And the backrest of the back seat has another cool looking logo on it. The chrome exhaust pipe on this bike looks really nice. I feel like this bike has just enough chrome accents on it without being too much. Royal Enfield made some really thoughtful choices when designing it. On the right side of this bike, you have a lockable plastic access panel. In here, you've got the fuse box, which comes with extra fuses, really nice, and a set of tools, which again is really thoughtful. So that's the walk around of this bike. If you have questions about some physical thing here that I didn't cover, please leave me a comment and I'll address any questions you have individually. Now let's talk about the performance of the Meteor. This bike has just enough oomph to move through traffic nicely and still give me a nice smooth ride. It's lightweight enough to sway and weave through tight situations in town. I wanted to have a lighter bike for that very reason, and the Meteor is a lot of fun and very easy to handle while still feeling really stable. It's a great mix, a great size. Because I'm a back road biker, I only get on highways that are up to 65 miles an hour, and the Meteor gets up to about 70 just fine. Because it's a lighter bike, about 400 pounds, I get pushed around by some of the crosswinds sometimes, or the occasional 18-wheeler that passes me, but that's just what it's like being on a bike. The anti-lock brakes have already saved me a few times. I'm a very safe rider. I follow traffic laws, I like going the speed limit, and I've actually been through two motorcycle safety courses, which I would recommend, by the way. But there are always drivers on the road who pull out in front of me and surprise me, so I'm thankful to have the anti-lock brakes. They work really well, they're smooth, and I'm happy the bike has them. And some other notes about the Meteor. When you buy a brand new Meteor, you have a required 300 mile break-in maintenance that you have to do at your dealership. You have to do it to maintain your warranty, and it cost me about $400, so be ready for that. I know you just spent all this money on your bike, and you probably spent a bunch of money on gear, but make sure that you have this money set aside in your budget for the first visit to the shop. On my visit, they changed the oil and any other low fluids, but primarily they did what they called a valve check. It took a couple of hours, and there were no problems. And because of that visit, my warranty is still intact. If you're thinking about getting a Meteor, and you're in the United States, or, from what I hear, if you're in the UK, and you come across a dealership that has these bikes on the showroom floor, then snatch one up. Because if you have to order one from India, it will take an indeterminate number of months to arrive, until it just simply shows up and surprises the dealership. If you see one, just buy it. So everywhere I go, I get compliments on this bike. 
I feel like I can't go down the street to the store without somebody commenting on it. And I live in a small town. Mostly people come up and just want to know what the bike is because they don't recognize it. People who don't know Harleys keep asking me if it's a Harley. It has that older styling. And when people realize it's not a Honda or a Kawasaki or a Yamaha, I think they just assume it's a Harley. So whatever, it's a fun conversation starter. Overall, I love this bike. It's performing perfectly for the reasons that I bought it. Day trips and shorter overnight destinations on smaller highways. My only complaint is that as of the making of this video, Royal Enfield is still not offering a lot of accessories for this bike. I'm having to turn to aftermarket sources for things like bike luggage, a windshield bigger than the little fly screen that they offer, and I still cannot find a pair of hard cases that fit the Meteor 350. So Royal Enfield, I would like to give you my money for a pair of waterproof, lockable, hard side cases for the Meteor 350. Please offer that product soon for us Meteor fans. If you'd like to see what gear I've purchased that fits the Royal Enfield Meteor, check out my review videos. I'll show you everything that I've found. So if you have any questions about the Meteor 350 that I didn't answer, just put them in the comments below and I'll answer all of your questions individually. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next video.